A severe drought is plaguing farmers and their crops across the entire country, especially here in South Carolina. The U.S. Department of Agriculture has now deemed 35 South Carolina counties as primary natural disaster areas. Tonight News 2's Matt Alba spoke with farmers here in the low country about the dry spell and its effects on this season's harvest. The corn maze, we've had to spend more money. Stephen West owns the West Farm Corn Maze in Berkeley County, and this Friday he opens for the fall season. There's no moisture in the ground at all. It's just hard as a rock. But getting his stalks to sprout has been no simple task. When it was time to plant soybeans, which is what I was going to plant this year, uh, I was scared to death because it was so dry. Wes says he usually plants 200 acres of corn and 300 acres of soybeans. We did not plant any row crops at all this year, none. He only planted enough corn to make a maze, and even that was a struggle. We could not catch rain here. Wes says he couldn't plant anymore because of a severe drought affecting different parts of the state. A lot of my friends, they're harvesting their corn right now, and they're anywhere from 50 to 75 percent below normal. Officials say some of the heavy showers this summer, like the 7-inch 24-hour downpour in Charleston, gave the impression our area got a lot of rain, but that's simply not the case. Now, if you go a few miles, uh, back toward Goose Creek and Somerville and, and places like that, they seem to have gotten some rain um, where we didn't. It just it did not rain here. And although farmers here in Berkeley County, like Stephen West, say they're making the most out of a difficult year, some farmers in the upstate have it even worse. The USDA has designated 35 counties in the state primary natural disaster areas. In a statement, the U.S. Agriculture Secretary said, Our hearts go out to those South Carolina farmers and ranchers affected by recent natural disasters. President Obama and I are committed to ensuring that agriculture remains a bright spot in our nation's economy. We could actually use a shower of rain uh, right now, so we're hoping we get something out of this front over the next few days to, to keep it growing. In Berkeley County, Matt Alba, News 2. Officials say many of the farmers in the designated 35 counties are eligible for low-interest emergency loans from the USDA's Farm Service Agency to help with the drought. For more information on whether you qualify for the loans, you can head to our website, countonto.com.